secure. All stalkers down. You've got your convoy. How about getting us a sodding medic? I had seen him approach the containment cell on the convoy. The cell had 14-inch lead walls, but even so, given Hale's condition, I didn't want him anywhere near it. With the stalkers gone, we were able to airlift the cell back to Northern Command. The exchange with the Americans would have to wait. We were about to execute a very risky offensive operation. The Chimera had been using a network of underground tunnels to attack undetected. The tunnels formed a nexus in Nottingham, and if we sealed them off, we would at least briefly have the upper hand. Sounds pretty reasonable. Hey guys, and welcome back to Resistance Fall of Man. When we last left off, we won a huge firefight in Manchester and resecured our convoy. Well, I mean, we still don't exactly know what's in there, but uh, we're going to be finding out. In the not too distant future. So let's go. Things do not look overly great here, do they? A king and country, you say? Well, okay, let's get to work. Woof. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Look at the state of this place. Oh, man. Now this is the definition <laughs> of a futile war. A war that really cannot be won. But we're going to do our best anyway. Let's get these uh, 40 mils out here. Try and take these gunners out. This is the first issue that we have. Alright. Well. Son of a bitch on his little gun tower. Let's go. And you can start seeing their architecture here. They're building their weird emplacements, and look at them. They do look very alien. But they look very kind of, I don't know, crummy as well. It's interesting. It's a really cool kind of industrial design, I guess. Still, no time to worry about that. We've got to push back the horde, which we shall certainly be doing. Oh god. Okay. Really running out of ammo already, but that's fine. Oh right there, sir. I see you. Give him a few bullets in his neck. I should sort his problem out. Oh, okay. Think we've normalized this area. More or less. Oh, hello. Nope, there is a couple more. Let's get a grenade in there. Okay, that was the most effective grenade I think I've seen for a while. Oh, look at this place. Like, everywhere's totally destroyed. Ah, this is so... This is so cute. Early on in the war, where there was hope. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hello. Yeah. Keep getting stuck on things as well, which is not fun. That's okay. That's a common problem in these video games. Right, let's take the shotgun for a walk, shall we? Shotgun certainly seems to be fairly useful up close. Getting blown to hell. Yeah, I can see that, dude. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, sweet cheeks? It's not exactly what you want to turn around and see in the middle of the night, is it? Oh, there you go. Have a present. Did, did that grenade even go off? I don't know about the grenades in this game, guys. Oh, that was bad. They very rarely seem to do much. Now, I'm not sure if that's by design. Because they're very basic, kind of World War Two era things. But, I mean... They certainly should be better than they are. 
Alright, we need to get some fire on this. Let's go. Need to take out their artillery. Oh, hey guys. Here, share. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, no. There's always more, isn't there? Jeez. Running out of health here, too. Ah, just what we wanted. Lovely ammunition. Oh, sir. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you for your opinion. How are we doing? Looks like they're... We're trying to build another bunker here, but there's no gun. Look at this. What a fucking kill zone this is. Oh. Alright. I don't know how you're going to do that, but sure. That is what I shall do. So they got mortars up here. Yeah, look, there we go. How's their artillery? Interesting. So we still don't really know what the Chimera is. I mean, I do. Because it's kind of all coming back to me now. But, yeah, this... Oh, look at these walls and fortifications they're building. Their walls are really weird as well. They're kind of like made out of... Um, just slats of metal and kind of haphazardly welded together. It is odd. Really odd. Um, but at the same time, it's really cool because it's really alien. Whew, he's got me pinned down. Where are you? You little cretin. Uh, I'm going to say Childress is gone. We're on it. Don't you... Oh, hello. We're on it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't panic. You can see they're really good at digging tunnels. Or, I don't know actually if they dug these tunnels or if these are human fortifications that have been taken over. We'll kind of see their tunnels a little bit later on. Anyway, in here, with all these lovely goodies, will be our... Hello. Oof. Should be our first bit of intel. If we weren't so rudely interrupted. Yeah, I think it's on this table here. But that is... Um, intelligence. And it is Harbinger, I believe. Dexter pulled me off my rounds this morning to join a commando patrol. He wouldn't go into specifics or even tell me why they needed a med officer. Commandos had found more corpses left by the cloven. Beneath their uniforms, the corpses were just bones. Only their hands remain. Their fingers slashed in the way of the cloven, the cloven had eaten away the flesh, just like the chimera do. Ha. Huh. Cloven, eh? What are these? Yeah, so we've got the chimera, but apparently something called the cloven. Hmm. Okay. When it, uh, when it rains, it pours, I guess. Anyway, let's keep pushing forwards. Don't know if that's an explosive barrel there. Not sure. Got some hedgehogs. Go live with the hedgehogs. Whoop. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to sting. Ooh. This, I was hoping it was going to sting more than it did. They really are dug in. Oh, God. Really don't want us in this little hut, do you? Huh? Oh, yep. All right. Shotgun ineffective at long range. Who'd have thunk? Right. Not bad. Not bad. Now there's another bit of uh, intel straight away in here. Let's see if there's any goodies floating around. Nope, looks like that's it. So anyway, 
on this uh, little piece here, there should be some more intel, and that is the next one. <clears throat> Intelligence. So, tunnels converge in Nottingham. Appear to be a strategic junction for Chimera. Hmm. So, what exactly are they doing? They're running these huge cables, like, throughout the entire... Frickin' country by the look of things. I mean, that is some seriously impressive industrial design right there. Right, get rid of those. Ooh, hello. Alright, easy, easy. Let's see if we can get, we've got some frags. You can kind of ricochet frag grenades around in this game, but it's not, it's not quite as good as other games that have done it. I got another frag. Okay, cool. A big case of frag grenades there. Good rush this guy. Well, that worked. Alright, mortars are down. Oof. Alright. So yeah, these large mortar cannons, kind of terrifying really. Certainly don't want to be running into those on a cold night. We shall certainly see what we can do. Conduits. So they're building some kind of power lines everywhere. That's kind of curious, isn't it? They seem to be trying to network as much together as they possibly can. Makes me wonder if these uh, things these are digging for is some kind of fortifications that they're just going to lift out of the ground. You ever get the feeling that you're... Uh, Alright. Yeah, I don't know if you ever get the feeling that you're completely outmatched and outgunned. Um, the human race certainly should be feeling that right now. Oh god, and things are only just getting started. Anyway, in here there's a happy little fellow. Alright, mate. Yeah. Ah, that sucks. That really sucks. So this little fellow is called a titan. And he's not really a fellow. And he's not really that little either. But he's definitely a titan. Oh, that hurts. He can pretty much take us out in one or two hits. But luckily, one saving grace with this dude is he's not quite as tough as you would have thought. Come on, you bastard. There we go. Oof. Ugh. Nothing left but paste. Paste in chunks. Jesus. I mean, you don't want to run into too many of those if you can help it, but oof. My, my. Could grab some goodies here. I find that, to be honest, the bullseye is a really good weapon at taking those guys out because you can just dart them and run around. Um, <laughs> that seems to be pretty effective. Takes pretty much all of your ammo to do it. Uh, essentially, you just need to cause them so much damage that their equipment overheats. I, mean, I don't know how that works. I don't know whether it's because their metabolism kicks into overdrive and it's so desperately trying to like heal and, and, and whatnot that they just cook themselves. It's kind of interesting. Oh! Lucky you don't have a scratch on you. Well, I mean, you know, I feel like I've got a scratch on me. I've got half my health pretty much depleted. Uh, let's have a little look anyway because we do get some blurb on those guys. Chimera. So yes, the Titan. The Titan Strain represents the limit of Chimeran evolution of the human form. 
They are massively strong and wield weapons more commonly found on vehicles, such as Stalker heavy siege pods. Titans aren't known to wear any form of body armor. Their callous hides are sufficiently thick to protect them from the fiercest firefights. While they have no known weaknesses, attacks to the head are believed to be most effective. Yeah, again, I, I don't know why attacking their heads is the most effective thing. Surely attacking their heat exchanges on the back. I, I don't know. Anyway, new weapon. We have the L2... Three far eye, which is quite a cool weapon. This champion here, the L23 far eye, is the weapon of choice for the British Royal Marine Commando sniper teams. The rifle chambers a uh, .303 Mark 10 round with a muzzle velocity of nearly ooh 3,400 feet a second. Yep, and you, it's basically a sniper rifle. We can zoom in and slow down time with it. You can only ever hold 12 bullets for it, though, I think, which is a little bit freaking stingy, if you ask me. But whatever. In the chops, good man. All right, this looks a little bit more delicate now, doesn't it? That's for Sheffield. Alright, looks like they're cutting us off from a couple of bridges here, but we can be a sneaky little fucker. Ooh. Yeah, I got my sack on, dude. Drop these bombs down on them. Nope, nobody told me what I was going to be fighting here, dude. It's pretty evident by my lack of uh, equipment. So, this is kind of like a bit of an ass here. Alright, we can slow down time. Look at these things. Boom! Headshot. Oof. Stop going on about my eyes, man. I'm a little bit sensitive about it, if you don't mind. Alright, let's set that off. Nice. Right, let's get out of here. Can't sit back here with these campers all day. You're going to swim to Australia? You better hope it's still there, son. Right, let's go grab up some gear. This is a hard fight. This is a really hard fight. Let's get some grenades out there. See how far he throws these grenades. He literally throws them into space. The standard frag grenade is very, very, very difficult to actually use, in my opinion. Now, luckily, we get plenty of other grenades that are better. Alright, this is going to be rough. I don't know what the hell they're... Look at this industrial machine that they're building. Something rather nasty going on here. Alright, we're going to have to slowly push up. These guys just continuously pour in. Oh, Going to have to give them what's for. Otherwise, we're kind of screwed, dude. Ooh, get those grenades out there. It's like these M203 grenades, I'm going to call them, um, from this underslung grenade launcher here. They're really not that great either. And you get so few of them. They rarely seem to actually have much of an impact on anything. Alright, let's get the hedgehog out there. I don't know where that went. <laughs> uh, I hope it went somewhere good. Let's just get this Argo going. Now these guys are going to continuously pour down until we push up. But we've got to keep pulling back ourselves. Ugh. Right. What have we got? We've got some shotgun. Ooh, We ain't got much, have we? Yeah, every time we fall back here, these guys push back up. Oh, man. Yeah, those, those underslung grenades really do. They're basically... They will kill one enemy. Uh, if you've got a big group of enemies, uh, generally kill one, the one you're aiming at, and then the rest, not so much. Oh my god, look at it, it's chaos. Let's get these grenades out there. Jeez. Really going to have to push this line. Because if we can't, oh my god, they've got... They've got new breeds. Right, whilst it's quiet for a second, charge... Charge! Hold! Come on, man. I don't even think there's any men behind me. 
and I'm going to go down. Yep, I'm going down. Oof, run, run. Jesus. Oof. That is just pretty intense. Ugh, oh, ammo. Okay. Now I'm going to go out on a limb and say they've probably pushed us all the way back again. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there is only a finite limit of these guys. Yeah, grenade just... Oh, it's so bad. Okay. Yeah, this looks more like it. So I guess X amount of those guys just like spawn in. So you can play a bit of a war of attrition here. Really nice to know. Who made it? Oh, me. Oh. I guess I made it. Although I'm not sure. I think the lucky ones are the ones dead on the battlefield. I'm just saying. I don't want to be uh, pessimistic or anything. But. This is kind of a nightmarish conflict here. And these guys have all the advantages in the world. I think that's one thing I like about the story, is the humans in this game just don't have any advantages at all. Oh, hello. <laughs> There'll still be a few of us left. Are you sure? Oh, our men are like dropping like flies. Oof. Get fucked. Whew. Now that was a hard push. In fact, I would say the only reason the human race is still in this fight. Um. Dude? You, you, you okay? You. I think his brain is broken. Let's help him out a little bit. There we go. Good lord. So there should be some more intel in here. Yeah, the only reason the humans are still in this fight, like, at all, is because we have a super soldier that can heal. So there should be another chunk of intel here, uh, if memory serves. And that should be this one. So, encountering more of these foreign soldiers each day, they match the description Northern Command gave us of the Cloven. Any attempt with communication with the Cloven leads to aggression. Their motives are unclear, but they seem to regard both humans and Chimera as enemies. We caught Cloven scavenging the bodies of our soldiers after a recent battle. It's unclear what they wanted them for. We know the Chimera devour their wounded, but I can't imagine any man, even one of the Cloven, resorting to such savagery. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> that is assuming that the Cloven are indeed human. Lieutenant Cartwright, sir. If you've come looking for a fight, you've found a place. It seems the Chimera are after something more than just digging tunnels. Say, look here. Who brought the Yank? By that time, word had already spread about what Hale did in Manchester. However, Cartwright wasn't the type to be easily impressed, especially by an American. Cartwright's team had found something suspicious. Instead of just making tunnels, the Chimera were digging something out of the ground. At the time, we passed it off as just another Chimera mystery. Our priority was to seal off the tunnels. Interesting. So just what are they doing? They're certainly uh, building their own fortifications here. Look at this stuff. This ain't human. 
I would say the war is escalating pretty quickly. But that's okay. That's why we're here. Uh, yeah, what he said. So we're literally trading bodies for time here. Uh, not particularly sure how well that's going. Um, yeah, we've got some friendly titans here. Maybe not quite so friendly titans. Luckily, we've got all the advantage. So this is the strength of the bullseye. Okay. Anything that's not wearing shoes? That's a bit shoesist, isn't it? Shoes cost money. And I don't think there's many cobblers left. Though we don't actually know what the state of London is, I don't think. I don't think we've been to London. Oh no, London's like the hive of it all, isn't it? Where all these chimeran bastards came from. So they tunneled through the channel. And that's where they attacked. So the southwest and the, most of the south has just gone. What are these dudes doing? I'm sure we can just take some pot shots at these guys. Now, I don't know if it actually ever specifies... Ah, oh, look at the digging equipment. That's really cool. I don't know if it ever specifies how many men the Americans sent over. But I don't think it was many, considering they were literally all wiped out, apart from Hale. Yeah. Okay. Up the floaty lift. Good thing we're not wearing a skirt. Good thing Hale doesn't mind heights. Sentry guns, eh? I'm on it. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this would be a really bad place to be a human. Right, let's get rid of these sentry guns. Because they are making a mess of our boys down there. There's one more sentry gun over there. That's fine. We'll make our way. Now we have some dodgy ass. Ooh. Is there much combat going on down here? Seems to be taking on as many of them as he can by himself. It's kind of interesting. There's lots going on in the background. Um, <laughs> but at the same time... Nothing's actually happening. It's kind of interesting. All right, let's. See. Oh. Well, we didn't really need shins, did we? Ah, that was unfortunate. Okay, go back up the super fun slide of doom and carry on. Let's see if we can put this rifle to work over that side. I think we're kind of pushing the limit of what this range... Oh, no. You know what? This rifle has a, a very healthy range. Which, you know, being a sniper rifle, you would hope. And it does feel reasonably good to use and aim, to be honest. I do mean reasonably. There is a cooldown on the... Uh, Holding your breath meter, but it's not too bad. And you can't just spam fire shots either, unfortunately. You do have to wait for the weapon in slow mo to recycle, which takes a reasonable amount of time. I don't know if they're like communicating with each other or what. Oof. Ah, oh, looks like these guys are just going to keep coming. That's fine. 
Oh, God. Oh, man, this would not be up to health and safety code. Jesus. I mean, maybe in the 50s it would have been, I guess. Oh. Always keep a shotgun handy for close quarters. Oof, that was rough. Think we're okay. Oh, hello. I was wondering what was making all that noise. Uh oh. Get out of here. That's not good. I think we're running out of men. <laughs> so this is just like the English holding them off, which if World War II never happened, the Empire would have been at the height of its power. Which is kind of interesting. So... Britain would have had a humongous military might. Hello. It's like he's looking at his fallen comrades. Wondering what the hell's hit him. Ooh. Is that not... No. There we go. That's right through his jaw. <clears throat> but I do like how alien all this stuff is. It really does look the part. Not going to lie. He's got some more ammo now. It's mine for the taking, eh? Oh, I like that. But for an enemy that seems to be kind of an organic in nature, obviously with their bioengineering and stuff, it's interesting to see they still use uh, manufactured stuff. Their technology isn't all biological. At least as far as we know. Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh. No, well. This does seem to be a little <laughs> one-sided, but hey. It's all good. It's fine. A little bit one-sided. Right, what have we got? Have we got anything bigger? I mean, the bullseye... The bullseye is ideal for this, really. Uh, oh, the far eye's empty. All right, well, bullseye it is. Just need to be a little bit more... on the ball with it. There we go. You roar at me all you like sunshine. Doesn't change anything, I'm afraid. Kind of hard to tell when this tag system on the bullseye actually runs out. Uh oh, that was not good. Oh, he's done. Oh, he's had enough. Well, you know. 20 quid? That would have been a lot of money. Right, send the Northern Command boys in and see what happens. Anyway, guys, that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Uh, I think, I, yeah, 34 minutes. We can squeeze this one in one episode, I think. So, uh, interesting stuff. Definitely some severe escalation going on here. But it kind of looks like... The British are just, I do mean just hanging on by the smallest of threads. Let's see if we can't keep that momentum going, huh? Huh? Ah. <laughs> oh, this game goes places. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.